TypeScript enums for beginners plus a special bonus tier at the end. So first off, this video focuses on the fundamentals for beginners. There's definitely more things that you can do with enums, but this is going to give you kind of the basics about type enums. So what are they? Why are they useful? Well, type enums, they allow you to define a set of named constants. They make it easier to document intent within your program, and they can be used to create a set of distinct cases. So let's look at what this actually looks like and what the syntax of an enum is. So the way that you create an enum is using the enum keyword here in TypeScript, and then you use some label for your enum. And then you do not use an assignment operator here like so. You do not use an equal sign. All you do is open up a pair of curly braces here, and then what you can do within the curly braces is have certain labels and then separate those labels by commas. And what TypeScript is gonna do here is it's gonna, by default, assign all of these values to a number and it's going to start with zero and then it's going to auto increment that number for every label so up is going to be assigned to the value of zero which you can see it is in my type annotation here from vs code and then down is going to get the type annotation of one left is going to get the annotation of two and then right is going to get three so ups assigned to the value of zero down one left two then right is three. And if I console log my enum here, you're going to see that I do get all of these values for the corresponding labels. All right. So TypeScript's automatically going to give these some distinct values. Now, you can also override that default behavior and give your own values to a type enum. So if I scroll down here on line 37, I create the very same enum. I use the enum keyword then the label direction. That's the label of my enum. And then I first have this value of up, but I assign it to the value of five. So the way that you can assign a value to an enum is using the assignment operator after your label here. All right. So it's not, it's not a colon like you would with an object. Instead of the colon, it is an equal sign. And what TypeScript's gonna do here is for all these other values here, down, left, and right, that I don't give a explicit value to, TypeScript is going to automatically give these a value starting from the value of five here. So down's gonna get the value of six, left is gonna get the value of seven, right is gonna get the value of eight. Because since I give it the default value of five, it's going to auto increment the rest of these to give them a distinct value. And this is why enums can be used to define a set of named constants and kind of document some more intent because you know all of these are going to be unique values. And enums are particularly useful here when you don't really care about the value itself. Like, I don't necessarily care that this direction dot up is the value of zero. I just care that it is distinct. And I'll show you an example of using these here in just a second. But if I change this to the value of eight here, you're going to see that now down is going to get nine, left is going to get 10, right is going to get 11. So whatever value you give it here as a number, it's going to auto increment those for the rest of those values to make sure that all the values are indeed distinct. All right. And this is particularly useful when you maybe don't care about the values themselves as much and you just need like some label to make a distinct set of values. So let me show you maybe a little bit more of a real world use case of how this would work. So on line 51, I define an enum called user response and I give it two values, no and yes. So these are gonna be two distinct labels that I can use. And then here I have a function on line 56 called respond. And it takes a recipient, someone I'm sending a message to, and then the message itself. And it is of type enum, the message is. And it's either gonna be no or yes. And in the body of this function, well, I can say, if my message is equal to yes, return the recipient said yes. But if that's not true, then return the re recipient said no. So here I use this enum. It doesn't really matter what values are assigned to no and yes here. It's just giving me kind of a user readable way to use these constants. User response dot yes. That's pretty obvious what I'm doing there. I don't really care what value is in user response dot yes. 
I just care that this is readable and it's a unique constant here. So when I call this respond function, I pass it the recipient of dude, and then I pass her user response dot yes. So it's gonna enter the body of this function. Message is gonna equal user response dot yes. So it's gonna return recipient said yes. So if I run this code here, what you see is dude said yes. And then if I change this to no, you're gonna get dude said no. All right, so I don't really care about the values it themselves here. I just want it to be a, like a more readable, descriptive way of using these, all right? Now, you can also use string enums as well. They don't necessarily have to be numbers. TypeScript supports them both. So this would also be a totally valid way to do this. You could create your enum here like I do here, and then you could assign your label to a string value. This would also be a valid enum. Now, one thing I want to mention with enums is that an enum really wouldn't be much different than doing something like this, creating an object and then just having those values in the object work as your constant. So if you use as const in TypeScript, it's going to make it so that this will remain a constant and I'm not going to be able to mutate these values here, which makes this like a true constant and gives me certainty that these values are going to stay the same. So really an enum is not going to be much different than creating an object here and then creating it as a const. And this would actually be my preference when using constants in my program, because this, this is what most people who write JavaScript code anyways are going to be more familiar with as their constants, just an object opposed to using enums. It's not all, all developers are really going to know what that is. And it's kind of more TypeScript specific there. So I would probably still go this route, but enums are still good to know because if you're in a TypeScript code base, there's a decent chance you're gonna see them. And like at first glance, it could be tricky to kind of know what they're used for and to know that all these get a default value of zero and then they auto increment. That is just because we don't really care as much about the value. They're just supposed to kind of be readable, descriptive ways of using these constants in your program, all right? But for a special bonus here, how did the programmer die in the shower? He read the shampoo bottle instructions, lather, rinse, and repeat. And this was like a dad joke for programmers.